Well, we saw quite the gloomy and rainy end to our Tuesday. We'll end up seeing much of the same even early into tomorrow as the system will follow us all the way into Friday. Speaking of, we have this large area of low pressure. It's bringing some stronger storms down south, even some winter weather all the way up north here back at home, bringing us some of those rain showers that are even slowly starting to taper off. We saw some soaking rain earlier this evening. As of right now, rather scattered and light in nature, seeing some of those pockets of rain drying up into places like Ogle and Lee County, but we will see them build back in, especially early tomorrow, likely to impact that morning commute. It's also rather windy as the system moves through. Gusts right now about 39 miles per hour in places like Rochelle, 30 in DeKalb, 32 over in Freeport. Grab those umbrellas, but you're going to want to hang on to them tight tonight and early into tomorrow as breezy conditions will remain even early into the morning. We'll stay breezy with some showers moving through overnight. Your temperatures will fall into the low to mid 30s, bringing us a chance to potentially see a couple flakes mixing with that rain. A lot, a lot of us though will hang on to just those rain showers as they then end up following us into the morning. That'll be our chance for some heavier pockets of rain during your morning commute. The rain will likely taper off late tomorrow morning into the afternoon before we see a second wave building back in. Temperatures will climb into those mid to upper 40s tomorrow. Winds will die down as we head into the afternoon ahead of that next wave of some showers, bringing us a better chance to see a bit of a snow mix as well with your temperatures expected to drop. You'll see just that here on future track as we head into the rest of the evening, holding on to a chance for some lighter scattered showers. However, as soon as we head into tomorrow morning, looks like that heavier rain rain wants to build back in. It'll likely stick around for portions of that morning commute. Here's just after 7 a.m. So if you're heading out the door around this time tomorrow morning, definitely grab those umbrellas. Good news is, though, the further we head throughout the morning, the more those showers are going to taper off. Looks like we'll see just some scattered lighter rain into the early afternoon before that second wave quickly returns, especially into the evening, bringing us a chance for some soaking showers once again. But as well as that rain and snow mix may even see it across most of our area. Further north that you are, the better chance you have to see some wet snow as we had late Thursday night or Wednesday night, I should say, early into Thursday morning. Now, those temperatures are going to continue to drop throughout Thursday, bringing us a chance for some snow showers into the afternoon. Those showers may even linger as we head early into Friday. Minor accumulations are possible, but we do have some sunshine to talk about after all this moves out as we head into the end of our week. So heading into tomorrow morning, we'll see those soaking showers along with breezy conditions. Gusts will still reach about 35 miles an hour early through the morning. Notice as we head into the early afternoon, we're already dropping within about 25 miles an hour for the gusts as the winds will slowly start to taper off and weaken. Good news is once that system exits, Exits, we'll see a chance for maybe some flurries into Saturday. Your temperatures, though, will end up a lot cooler, and there's that sunshine for you. Partly cloudy starting on Sunday. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, we'll end up seeing those temperatures really take a dip. May see some snow into next week. Crossing my fingers, we somehow end up with a little bit of a white Christmas, but a really, really cold one. And for your four degree guarantee, we were off just by two degrees. Nonetheless, we still made it within the four, adding 13 more dollars to that cash total, bringing us to $312. We did it. We broke through. Tomorrow's forecast is in the mid to upper 40s. Hopefully we get there. You know, that might be a lot of Christmas <laughs> shopping money. If well, if you guys miss before oh, Christmas, yeah. we'll you see You know about what? <laughs> I, I hope that we don't, you know, bring the luck into the next year. Christmas miracle? Question mark? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, coming up.